So today we're going to make a Mexican lasagna. It's very similar to an Italian lasagna, except instead of noodles, we're going to use corn tortillas. So I've already kind of started browning some hamburger meat. This is about two pounds. And I've taken two cans of petite diced tomatoes, and I'm going to use one pouch of our chipotle. You can use any flavor you like, but I told you guys before that anytime I make something like tacos, I love chipotle. It's a good flavor. So here I am, I'm gonna go ahead and mix that into my can of tomatoes. And it's not necessary to do this with a hand blender, but I have a son that picks tomatoes out of everything, which is weird, because he'll eat salsa by the bowl full, but if I put it in hamburger, he'll pick it out. So I'm just gonna use this hand blender for my tomatoes to make them not so chunky. Okay. okay, so I'm going to add just a little bit of water because it's going to be my sauce for my lasagna. Maybe like a third to a half a can. Pour that over my seasoned, or make my seasoned ground beef. I'm gonna pour that over my browned ground beef. And this recipe is super easy because the meat, it took me a few minutes to brown it, and now I've seasoned it and made myself a sauce for my lasagna. Okay. Then my next ingredient is just a can of regular yellow corn. Kind of adds a little texture. And then I'm just gonna let this simmer for a few minutes and get warm, and then I'll start layering. So if you'll give me just a second, I'll be right back. So, the meat has been simmering and absorbing all the flavor, nice and yummy. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer it like a lasagna. So I'm going to put a little bit right here on these tortillas that I already got ready. And then a little bit of cheese. All stick and then I'm going to take a couple more tortillas and I'm going to add some cottage cheese and I'm going to tell you that the very first time I made this and I saw this idea I thought that's kind of weird to put lasagna or cottage cheese in a in a Mexican dish, but it isn't. It's delicious. And just a nice thin layer, like you would ricotta on your lasagna. And I can't help myself, so I'm gonna add a little bit of the sauce right in there, just to kind of layer it up. That flavor will be nice and rich in there. So, I want to make sure that I share with you the main reason that I like this dish is because it's super easy to make. Because instead of having to think about all the different seasonings and spices like cumin and and garlic and all the things that you want to put in there to make it yummy and tasty. You don't have to. It's all included in that one little pouch. So uh, here I am, I'm making a quick and easy dinner and I really only used hamburger, corn, cottage cheese, and tortillas. And then a couple of cans of tomatoes with one, two, three salsa. I really like the chipotle for this one because I like that smoky dynamic in that lasagna. But maybe you might like it to be a little bit more pica. If you want it to be a little spicy, 
You could do it with a habanero. Um, if you really want to go crazy, you could do it with the Carolina Reaper. And if you know you have a bunch of guests and you're not really sure, then of course the original is a good way to go. But that's it. That was the entire dish. And all I'm going to do is just put one last layer of cheese. And then bake it for like 30 to 40 minutes. And dinner will be ready. So we'll come back in about 40 minutes to show you the one, two, three salsa Mexican lasagna. See you soon.